So, to Thomas Fritsch's question, how long have you been playing the bassoon? When did you start? At what age? I started at the age of 12 to play the bassoon um, before I played three years clarinet. Dear Constantina, about your question, if you have trimmer on stage, how you get off? I would say uh, try to relax as much as possible with uh, breathing. A lot of breathing can help and trust yourself because you practiced a lot probably for this, so you just have to, to think, okay, I can do it. So, to Alex Gualardo Montes, what's your favorite solo bassoon piece and why? I have many favorite bassoon pieces. Um, I really like to perform Oliga because it's quite crazy and uh, energy <laughs> Next question to Franklin Dreadful. Do you think spending time practicing is more important than spending time in reads? Uh, definitely. <laughs> I think it's really dangerous to spend so much time on reads and then forget to practicing. Um, my theory is to be able to play on something. It, it doesn't matter what, of course it has to, to work, but you will never get the perfect read. So if you spend so much time to get it, to get it, to get it, then it's good, but you are not able to play the piece because you didn't practice the piece enough. So I would say practicing is really the most important thing and just don't lose yourself uh, by searching the perfect read. To Liz Valvano, what's your warm-up routine? Uh, it's really short. I just play a few notes to check everything is working on the read and on the bassoon. Like this, so I go down, I go up and beat in the middle and then I know everything is working. So I guess that's it. To Maximilian Mötzke, how many hours a day did you practice as a student? Uh, it depends. Um, when I had an audition or a competition, I practiced a lot, like maybe six hours a day. But not all the time, otherwise I get crazy. <laughs> so I had to, to think really about it and to, to manage the time to practice, because if I had nothing special, then i rather to play and listen music and uh, learn a, l a lot about music theory and kind of stuff. Dear Zoe, when people ask what's a bassoon, uh, mostly I say it's a great instrument. Um, wind instrument, a bit bigger than a clarinet. And then I show them a photo, like this one. So, and uh, sometimes they see what's the, what, what it is, sometimes not. So I try to find a video and with sound also, it's uh, quite good to show them how it sounds. Yeah, so just to make them happy to know what the bassoon is. Two question from uh, Carolina Zorn. Do you like play with memory? Do you have your own way to manage it? So I have to confess I hate play by memory. Um, but I do sometimes because this is something you have to do in the classical music world. Um, I would say if I know the piece really good and I played it many times and I feel comfortable and then I just play it with, with uh, by memory, but if I don't feel comfortable with a piece and uh, I think it's too dangerous, then I just play with music. And I think the most important thing should be the musical quality and not how I look on stage with or not or without a music stand. Dear Guillermo, how do you get and improve your sound? Uh, it's really a really hard question. Um, first of all, I need to think what kind of sound I want to have. So it's first of all really in my head and then I try to to work with my ears to get the sound I imagine I should have. So um, it's quite easier if you think to be really relaxed and never, never force the sound. Try to, to have such freedom as you can, so much freedom as you can in the sound. But first of all, you really have to know what you want. If you want really a bright sound or a dark sound, because there are many tastes and not every bassoonist wants to play the same way. Um, I personally like something uh, not too bright and uh, with a lot of uh, flesh in the sound. So this is a bit my idea and this is what I try to get. And I think 
I should be able to get a cyst sound with every person I take and with every read I take because this is my sound, this is me, this is what I want and this is not the sound I get with one read or the sound I get with one bassoon. Of course it helps, <laughs> it's not only the person but um, I think the best, best thing is really to know what, what you want.